Good morning, guys. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Or I should say, hey, guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I don't know if I'm hitting you in the morning, afternoon, evening, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. However, we're spending this time together. I appreciate you spending it with me. Thank you for making me part of your day and making time for me. Guys, I've been hit by a bunch of emails and I appreciate it. And I think I'm, again, I think I'm all caught up with them. Um, that being said, I think I did just get a notification that I got another one. So I think I'm getting better on the emails, but there's more emails and I appreciate that. So thank you again for being patient and sending me a lot of information and sharing stories with me. And guys, thank you so much for that. I do. I, I appreciate it. I wanted to talk to you guys about some things that some of you have brought to my attention that even I forgot about, okay, not that it's even I forgot about it because I'm all that, but that I forgot about and that you guys are trying to share it to get out to the other subscribers and to beyond. So I thank you for that. The first thing is, is, is Gypsy Rose showing infidelity? Somebody sent me this. I would say, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, of course. But didn't we assume that? I mean, okay, so she could have gotten away with the tattoo, but when they've got their lips locked at a concert and they're dancing slow and they're always touching and that, you know, those are beyond friendship gestures, as we know. And this, you know, response to the question of how it is with Ken, you know, clearly, first of all, why do we feel comfortable? I would never go up to any of you and say, hey, is the D fire or is the V fire or whatever? And I would be so insulted if you guys were to say something to me. But the fact that she just put that out there and then says she doesn't want anybody in her business kind of makes me laugh, right? Because that's very much in your business. What do you have to say to the haters? Um, well, you know, can't bring me down. I'm on a high right now. I'm living my best life, and y'all can't take that from me. And the D is fire. <laughs> you know, and just like when somebody asked her, is this fire? You know, is the D fire over here? She could have ignored it, or she could have said, I'm not talking about it, or what an inappropriate question, or nope. She just answered. And um, that's because Gypsy doesn't think before she acts. And she had eight and a half years to think about stuff. So now on the whirlwind tour that she's on, do you think she's going to think or you think she's just going to keep reacting? She's going to keep reacting. That's my opinion. Guys, also, somebody sent me another picture. See this one? So... This, has anybody seen this video? Okay, so this is your first time on the beach, you said, yeah? This is my first time on the beach. Put you on your toes, have a little sand. Oh my god, it looks so different. Like, I don't even know how to describe it right now. I don't know what to think of it. We're going in the water? We're just, just the feet, just the feet. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, so you see the lie there? <laughs> is that a blatant lie or what? I mean, because it seems like that's a beach. And, you know, I thought Louisiana was on the coast, especially where the, in the part of Louisiana that she's been to, right? I mean, Louisiana is definitely a coastal state. I just, hmm, okay. So, then there were some more serious things. Things that showed that she told untruths, but in a more... You know, it's not bad enough that somebody's going to get on social media and um, act like it's a game and tell us a bunch of untruths and make us think that we're either we're crazy or, you know, that you're a lunatic for not thinking that we have any kind of memory. I, I, I don't know... 
I, I don't understand that way of thinking because there's no thinking behind it. There's no logic behind it. Anyway, let's get on some serious, uh, more serious notes. Those people that are still saying that this woman was A-B-U-S-E-D by her mom, we need to really talk about that because there is too many things. And here's the grift, okay? So in 2001, Gypsies crowned honor, honorary queen, say that three times fast, at the crew, right? Is that crew? Of Mid-City Parade by the Ronald McDonald House. Now, you know, I honestly give to the Ronald McDonald House and I have been giving to the Ronald McDonald House because they have personally helped my family on two occasions. So the fact that two family members that I had utilize the services I give to them and it would really upset me if I gave to them and it was going here. And I don't blame the Ronald McDonald House because that's done in such a good spirit and it actually has helped so many people. The fact that people could be so low, and this is Dee Dee as well, of course it's Dee Dee as well, can be so low. But Gypsy was bragging about this stuff, as you know. She was bragging about everything she did after she masterminded the unaliving of her mom if she didn't do more. If she didn't do more, what she admitted guilt to, okay? So right before then, you know, she's telling that interrogation officer or the officer outside the interrogation room, the police officer, the one that's there to make sure she doesn't move because as you remember, Gypsy's not in handcuffs in the interrogation room. Nick is. Gypsy's got a couch. Nick has a chair and a blanket and has been up hours before his interrogation where Gypsy was able to sleep and she did sleep. There's video of her sleeping under a blanket on a comfy couch. Okay. These are just the scams that we're going to talk about. She's crowned honorary queen for nothing and accepts it and takes it. Now she's out She's been out of jail for four months or out of prison for four or five months and has only managed to get on social media. Sometimes it appears threaten people, get herself involved in drama, mess up her marriage, abandon her puppy with, you know, that, listen, we know how I feel about animals. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad Ryan's got the dog and I have no problem personally if Ryan feels like he doesn't have the time to dedicate to this dog, that he gives the dog a better life and just make sure that the home that the dog's rehomed in is a good, safe home and thriving environment for the dog. By the way, Milo and I got a dog today. Hero managed to send us a beautiful little girl who I will later talk about, but the, um, the vibe in the house is good where the last two and a half weeks, and I know that's not a long time, but the last two and a half weeks has been doom gloom in this house, and my boy Milo has not been very happy at all. And that has been heartbreaking for me to watch because I can't be here all the time, and he was never supposed to be a solo dog. So Milo and I have adopted a dog, and um, I'll introduce her later. That being said, I don't have a problem with Ryan rehoming the dog because he didn't want to do this alone and he does work. Along with the honorary queen, I don't know why I can't say that, Gypsy makes her way to Sesame Street Live in a recent convention for fans of Xenu the Warrior Princess. Well, she, where she met the cast. And spent the whole, and they spent basically the whole weekend with her. They pushed her around in the wheelchair the whole time and talked to her. And I bet you not one time did Gypsy say, wait a minute, your turn. I'll get up and push you around. Dee Dee and Gypsy in 2003 were guests at a Christmas feast by Children's Wish Foundation. This is the Make-A-Wish stuff that is also very close to my heart because my dad was a big deal with them 
he was a major contributor with the Make-A-Wish Foundation in his time. Anyway, through this foundation, she says she went to Disney World and that she swam with dolphins at Discovery Cove in Florida. I've never swam with the dolphins yet. And I'm from Florida. And almost all of my family members have done it. I have not. So how she, there's muscles used to swimming. Now I know that people that can't walk can often swim. This is like something that people dream about. It's on their bucket list. Why is she getting it done? And still, she's been out of jail now for a long enough period of time that she has not done anything to make right by this organization or any of the organizations that I'm going to talk about. She's not done anything to rectify a situation. Again, when are we going to see the change? Whose watch is that time change on? 2007, the Olay Foundation granted Gypsy Child of the Year Award. <laughs> They've taken her name off that list. Guys, I'm going to put the links of all of these uh, that I possibly can that were sent to me. And also, big shout out to the subscriber that sent me all this information. I'm not going to put that person's name out there because I don't know if it's okay, but they know who they are and I appreciate it. In 2008, they received the Habitat for Humanity house with the jacuzzi for the legs. And... Everything became accessible. They got a, uh, a car too. And because she needed the wheelchair. But she knew she didn't need the wheelchair. And obviously Dee Dee knew too. Dee Dee's not here. Gypsy's here. So Gypsy's here where she could have already started making right. She Oh, Habitat for Humanity. She wanted to donate time to, right? Like she had some like community service. Am I right? At least she wanted, she called them up and said, hey, listen, can I, can I donate some time to you? And they said, no, 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 thank you. And then supposedly she asked, well, is it okay if I send you some money? You never have to ask anybody if you could send them money. You just send them money, okay? Especially these organizations that you took from. Just so you know, we haven't seen any of that. Now, if she does it, it's almost like we shamed her into it. You know, but either which way would you do it? So she had a custom pink Mandalorian armor donated at Vision Con. Okay. She takes a make a wish trip to Disney and Universal Studios and meets the cast of Harry Potter. That's what she was bragging about in the interrogation room, right? And also seeing the um, Princess Diana stuff. I haven't seen the Princess Diana stuff and I've been to London. I've been to England. I've been over in the UK more than half a dozen times, maybe a dozen times. And I haven't seen this stuff. And I live in the state of New York and I haven't seen this stuff. Come on, man. Again, these are like bucket lists, wishes. These are bucket li list wishes that she has gotten and brags about instead of being ashamed that she took from somebody who is probably no longer here and that was their last wish. Guys, do you see that, you know, look at it from that point of view. Those people that still find pity in, in Gypsy Rose, look at it from the point of view of the kid that is no longer here or the parent of the kid that is no longer here who came in second to that. Gypsy gets a VIP pass to meet Miranda Lambert and Blake Shelton backstage at their concert. Miranda donated about six grand. Ask for your money back. Gypsy meets cast Lord of Cast of the Rings. Guys, do you really think that somebody is A B U S E D and that their life is S H I T when this is going on? And we know that she's allowed to get out of the wheelchair at night because she has muscle in her legs. Okay. And we know that she had access to a mobile phone because in one breath she said she had a mobile phone. I don't know who is kept captive per se and gets a mobile phone 
access to a computer. And I don't want to hear that it was Dee Dee's computer and Gypsy snuck it. How Gypsy know how to use it? If there's millions of people that still believe in her sad story and I've changed two people's minds or we, we have changed two people's minds because this information was sent to me. I looked into it. I got, you know, I did some research on it, but it was sent to me. So uh, we, if we've done that, that's a good thing. I'm hoping that we've reached more. Please help us get there. Like, subscribe, and share. Did you like how I did that? Guys, I'm serious. This is all, like, this is, it's shameful. And the fact that she's out there strutting her stuff, not only with the horrific demise of her mom and what she claims she's responsible for, God knows what it really is, but... To act like none of this ever happened and you were never responsible for it, even at certain ages, and now you're, it, you have the means to make right by these places and you don't. What does that say? Again, show us good character. Show us where you've made any changes in your life. That's what you said you wanted to do. We'd like to see it. We dare you. Guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. I thank you again so much. So, so much. All right, guys. Don't forget, be better today than you were yesterday. Not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Never be Gypsy Rose. Always be yourself. Always be kind.